guys, welcome back to Hobby Farm Homestead. It is 82 degrees out and it is 14th of October. So it's definitely like an Indian summer for sure. Uh, we're supposed to get a big storm tonight and you know, all the way into Saturday, tomorrow's Friday. So we'll have to go over the rain gauge, get that emptied out and see how much rain we'll get over the next couple days. But I did put this up, see the temperature. Yes. 80 almost 82 degrees it's like i said it's crazy um today we are going over here to get some round bales and put them in the horse pasture we got to get two of them in there we want to do that before the ground gets too wet we'll go over here and dump this rain gauge out haven't done it in a couple days probably four days so we've gotten four inches so that's a lot of rain We'll get that dumped out later. All right, so let's go get the John Deere 2510 and see if we can get a hold of one of these round bales. First, I gotta push uh, some manure up, so let's get Before that. we get moving here, I wanna show you guys this uh, new idea, hay rake that we got at the auction. Um, it works perfectly. The only thing that's not really technically wrong with it, but that people probably didn't like, is somebody put a makeshift tongue on it. It's sturdy, but I'll clean this all up clean the welds up and uh, maybe get some new C channel put on there but all in all I mean for $325 you can't go wrong on these rakes they normally go around eight to twelve hundred dollars and for what we do I mean we want to do about 10 to 15 acres now of hay we used to do a whole lot more it, it's gonna work perfect all right so let's get this 2510 fired up <laughs> cameraman and the kids sometimes they just don't want to do it uh, which is fine whatever but we did get the two round bells moved in here um, they'll go to town on these things and I had to drag some of that wet nasty stuff out of here that'll all break down you know that'll all break down over the winter and springtime and actually help seed that area with uh, the timothy and alfalfa that's mixed in the hay um, so that'll help but I want to take you out here and show you ouch, I ran into the gate anyways I want to take you out here and show you the difference you can see it right away it's only been a bit, about a week with uh, preserving the horse pastures here by just cutting off half of it so I'll take you over here and show you show you the big difference here I mean I'm sure you can see it from now or from here but up to the gates it is uh, pretty well gnawed down to nothing you know this pasture that's why we put two round bells over there because this isn't a very good pasture very big per se but as you can tell from the gates that way it's already started to regenerate the grass and stuff um, so it'll grab a hold and then i'll throw some fertilizer on it at the beginning of spring and it should should grow back pretty good now as far as this up here I don't know it uh, it'll only come back as much as they will uh, allow them and as far as or they will allow the, the the grass to come back okay so that's you know you can see the difference on those gates 
you can see how wet it gets right here that is mainly because I do not have a gutter up here yet because um, the cost of uh, aluminum right now is outrageous and I can deal with a little bit of runoff I mean eventually it all runs out down down to the creek so I'm not too worried about it I mean it's, it's almost six bucks a foot for gutters and that is almost 50 feet so do the math it's too much money and that's just a gutter that's not the hanging and do the downspouts it's like four dollars to put on the downspouts and stuff like that so that can wait that's another project so sorry i didn't get a lot filmed but uh, we'll just move on to tomorrow and i'll film some more tomorrow and hope i can get a video together for you guys so i'll catch you tomorrow all right we're heading back here it's kind of like a family affair you can see them all back here so we'll go back here and check this uh card and camera we got let's see if we picked anything up tomorrow i'm going to bring more feedback and then bring another card back i gotta get batteries and stuff for this camera so we'll head on back and see what we got what do you think Back here. Yeah. You throw up here. stand over there. Let's go check out this old stand. This is probably the edge of our property on this side. There's an old stand here. <laughs> I don't think so. From the markers? Just took a picture, so it's still working. That's loose that you have your hand on. Yeah. Watch that rod right there? Yeah, yeah. that's what's out. Uh oh. Half the herd fell behind. They're going to merge out of the forest. I'm talking about poison. Poison? Poison ivy. Poison ivy. <laughs> Here they come. Pricker bush is over there. Comes one. Comes one. <laughs> she got a stick in her hand. One, two, one. All oh. right. <laughs> they are all out of the forest. Now we got a long walk ahead of us. Uh -uh. Way up there. Yeah, it does look good. Beautiful. All right, guys. So it's the next day. We went out there and uh, didn't get anything on the uh, the game camera bunch of raccoons they think they ate all the corn but uh, no deer whatsoever um, I, the camera might have faulted though I don't, I'm not sure so I'm gonna go take new batteries out there and get uh, maybe a new uh, SD card and put in there so temperature dropped down to 50 degrees today which is fine with me you know it's about time um, so hopefully here in about a week or so we can actually get in a stand and do some hunting but I would like to see some evidence of uh, deer back here. I might have to move that stand. I really don't want to do that right now, but that's fine if I have to. 
So yeah, it was no luck on the, the card, so I don't really have anything to show you guys. But we are today gonna go back out there and put some more corn down and change the batteries in there and put a different SD card in there, see if we get lucky again. But that's all I got for you. This, you know, today's the next day after that, so um, that's all I got for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this video and I'll catch you guys on the next one.